grab him here. Oh, that. Morgan Miller gets delivered right for it. Amanda Rosen on the back foot. They're trying to put this one away. They're working on it. Oh! That was a first base service point. 15 7. Southeastern is starting to pick up some momentum here. 15 7. I call that another service point. Andrew Ovenville getting a good start. It's 16 to 7 now. And while they kind of, kind of got the college comfortably ahead, it is definitely not a bad deal for Southeastern at this point. Mallory Owen, oh, Shelby Lang tried to unspark that one, and it is now 16 8. And number five, Stephanie Todd back to serve again for the Western. Here it comes. They're trying to fork this one over, but it's not panning out. Here's Megan Miller delivering right, threading the needle. Right between two left central defenders. It's 17 to 8. And we have Mallory Owen in the back for sitting for South. Southeast, just he's a dependable serve under normal circumstances. Let's see if that trend continues. That definitely did right there. And here, the pressure's on, out of bounds, 18 8. They're very, very close to having this thing wrapped up now. 18 8. The Southeastern Lady Suns get to have one of their better finishes in a long time at this preseason invitation of Leatherman. Megan Miller tried to force that one up, didn't quite pan out. It's 18 9 West Central. It's in the back for the way go. Here it comes. Here it comes. And that is Tina Fletcher. Takes a 19 9, six points away from locking this up. Megan Miller in the back court to stay for Southeastern. She's ready to make it rock and roll. This one. And the momentum is clearly now in Southeastern's favor. 20 to 9 here. And from the looks of it, Kim Curve already getting a little comfortable. She's sending in some understudies. First stop is Cassie Terry. She joins the front line. And here's an after the 20 to 10. This game is looking to be in pretty good shape at this point. They look like they got number five in this tournament blocked up at this point unless something very drastic happens here to change the perspective and we've got oh jordan ringenberger just popped that one over here it comes and kathy perry Megan Miller kissed the deck on that one. It's 20 to 11. And Southeastern gets it fucking. Oh, and that was Mallory Owen to lay down. It's 21 to 11. The countdown is down to four points. And we're going to have Jordan Ringenberg coming up. And Samantha Inman coming in, another understudy. She's going to be serving here. And despite the fact she's not going to be there, she's been a very good, very good server this year. And number three, Tommy White. 
It was 21 to 12. And number 14, there's your hands, Flynn. 21 to 13 now. Southeast is going to be getting ready to wrap this thing up shortly here. And now that's 21 14 here. We'll be back very shortly here. We just rejoin the action now here at 2418 here. He's having some storage capacity problems. And so as a result, there's an effort on the part of Southeastern to try and finish this off. 2418, they've got the lead here. 2419, and Southeastern looking to finally finish this off. They're on the brink of it. And we're ready to go. Here comes the third from West Central. And Mallory Owen just finishes up. It's 25 19 final. That gives Southeastern Lady Sun fifth place in the tournament and a fine effort. And that's it. That's the ball game. And it concludes our coverage here from the Quincy Invitational Tournament. Southeast and Lady Sun takes fifth.